Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Inferra, and I have my mommy with me again, Mrs. Farrow. Hi, boys and girls. And Aria says hello, too. She's so happy to be back with you all. I have another Elephant and Piggy book to read to you today by Mo Willems, and this one is called Should I Share My Ice Cream? Now, with all the stuff going on right now in the world, I wouldn't share any food with anybody. That's not really too safe to do. But it's always good to share things with friends. I know. See, she said she would share her food with somebody. So let's see what happens in this book. Should I Share My Ice Cream by Mo Williams? She said yes. Yes. Are you going to read too? Okay. Ice cream. Get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. <laughs> you want ice cream? No, we're too little for ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Mmm. That looks like either mint chocolate chip or pistachio. Yes. Pistachio is my favorite. Oh boy, oh boy, I love ice cream. I'm sure she is too. <laughs> wait, wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Uh, Say, so yeah, you should. Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? I love this speech bubble. You see the shape of it here? It's in the shape of an ice cream. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. He's thinking. Hmm. He wants that ice cream. I don't know if he's going to share it or not. Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. He just can't decide. He wants to share with his friend, but he wants to eat the ice cream too. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Notice what's happening to the ice cream, boys and girls. It's taking them so long to decide. Hey, Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. I will eat the ice cream. Hmm. Where is Piggy? Uh -oh. We haven't seen Piggy at all in this book, have we? Where's Piggy, Aria? What if she is sad somewhere? Poor Piggy. Oh, look at that ice cream while he's thinking that. <laughs> I must find her. He's worried. Can't find his friend. Yeah. When I do, I will say, would you like some of my ice cream? See the thought bubble? He's thinking this. He's imagining it when he does find Piggy. Then she will say, thank you. That would cheer me up. You too? All right. <laughs> then I will give her 
Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Oh, that would be nice. Then my best friend will be happy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. Where'd it go? I love how the words got real tiny there. You see that compared to the other page? So he changes his voice. He says, I will do it. I will share my ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! Say, oh. don't cry, elephant. Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice oh, cream. That's a shame. Now this page doesn't have any words, but good readers have to think what's happening on the page, even when there's no words and just a picture. <laughs> I blew it. Oh. There's no words on this part mm. at all either. But what do you see happening? I see somebody. What's happening, Aria? <laughs> you look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you. That would cheer me up. Wait a minute. I'm going to go back here. When he was imagining him sharing it with Piggy. There's him imagining and sharing with Piggy. Would you like some of my ice cream? And Piggy says, thank you. That would cheer me up. But now it's the opposite. Piggy saying to the elephant, would you like some of my ice cream? And then elephant says, thank you. That would cheer me up. Yum. Hmm. That was not my plan. See, it happened in reverse. It was opposite of what he was planning on doing. He wanted to share his ice cream. Oh, well. This works too. And now they're happy. The end. And I love how some of the ice creams on the back part here are melted. Do you see Pigeon? There's Pigeon. Did you like that story? The story, the story Aria. <laughs> Did you like that story, Aria? Say, so, yes, I did. Thank you, Aunt Missy, for reading it Aww. to me. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story, too. And just remember, if there's no words on the page, you still have to figure out what's happening on that page. Because it happened a few times in this book. There's no words, but we do see that Piggy is bringing Elephant some ice cream. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for joining us today. And Aria thanks you too. And are you saying rock on? Are you telling all the boys and girls to rock Say, on? Rock on. Rock on. Thank you for joining us and Bye, stay boys healthy. And girls. Bye.